Hey you guys, it's me again. I wanted to share with you guys something that I learned today, um, which is something that I've known for quite some time, but it's never really hit me the way it has now, and you probably know about it as well. It's the 80-20 rule. Now, we, you probably vaguely remember about the 80-20 rule, just like I did. Let me share with you uh, what I learned, right? So, Vilfredo Pareto, Vilfredo Pareto, that's the man who discovered the 80-20 rule. He was an economist and sociologist, who found out that 80% of the wealth is actually controlled by 20% of the population, right? And he was astonished by this phenomenon, and he decided to dive deeper into this and discovered that this 80-20 rule is found in other areas of life as well. He found that the 80-20 rule is applied in growing, you know, in crops and growing crops in, in real estate and a whole bunch of other areas in life. And even today, we can find the 80-20 rule in areas of modern day life, such as 80% of crime is caused by 20% of criminals, right? 80% of car crashes are caused by 20% of roads or drivers. And I believe there's many more. I have a list right here, such as like 20% of company, company products represent 80% of sales. And see, I was looking into that because I saw that it also could, it can also be applied to business, <clears throat> such as 20% of customers bring in 80% of a business revenue. I mean, there's so many things that you can uh, you, you can find the 80-20 rule in, and I think it's a valuable thing to learn. Such, I mean, if you're running a business, wouldn't you like to know who the 20% of, of customers are that bring in 80% of revenue for your business so that you can focus on them and be able to maximize on that? And this is found in so many areas of life, and just think about it. If this is a rule, if this is something that is real that's actually working that can be found anywhere and it is imagine if you apply that to your own life right imagine if you could find the 20 percent of tasks that create 80 percent of the results that you want in your life and imagine if you can just focus on those 20 percent tasks laser focus on them so that you can grow and build your life the way you want almost with ease with no effort at all seemingly because if you're putting 20% of work, right, you know, people put in 100%, let's say, put in 100% of the effort, put in 100% of the work, and you'll get 100% of results, right? But what if we're thinking of this wrong? You know, what if we're going at this the wrong way? What if we found the most productive areas in our life, the 20% areas, so that we can create 80% of results for our future, the 80-20 rule? What if we applied that to our own personal lives, right? Me, for example, I've... I'm trying to, you know, compile that list of the 20% of tasks that create 80% of my life. And one of the things is reading books. Reading books is really, I mean, reading, taking the time to sit down and read a book really helps me advance a lot in my life mentally, personally. And it, it, it helps me grow in so many ways. And when I read a book, the information I get, I can apply it in my businesses. I can apply it in my life. I can apply it anywhere, right? <clears throat> so... It's very valuable reading a book. It's very productive, I would say. And that's part of the 20%, I believe. It doesn't make up the entire 20%, but it's definitely part of the 20% that make up that make up part of the 80% of results in my life. Such a small amount of effort. I can just sit back, relax, read a book, but it would impact my life greatly. So th these are the kind of things you want to think about. And that's just one thing. I'm trying to compile that list myself in my own personal life. And I talked to Victoria about it, so we're going to kind of get together and make that list for ourselves to see what the 20% of tasks we can do to create 80% of the results that we want in our life, right? That's what we want to find out. So find out what the 20% of tasks are in your life, the things that you can do in your life to create the 80% of results you want in your life. So don't forget about the 80-20 rule. It's a very valuable uh, principle. It's a very valuable thing to look into it. Look into it. Vilfredo Pareto. I believe that's his name. Just look into it and tell me what you think yourself. Thanks.